is called Callum. He's 12 years old and hopefully today he is going to try and answer some questions we get asked all the time about him. Now, no pressure. I don't know if you've noticed, not many people have decided on this miserable day to venture to the safari park. So, Callum will be working very hard. You do have to let him know that he's doing good because he's got the biggest ego I've ever encountered. So clapping, cheering, anything like that, just like that, it'll make him very, very happy. Now, the first thing he's going to answer sounds ridiculous, but it is the biggest mistake people make, and that is people calling him the wrong kind of animal. Now, he gets called all sorts, dolphin, whale, walrus, seagull, most recently. But the most common one is they call you a seal. There you go. It's really sad. Now, we don't have any seals here. Callum is a sea lion. Now, they are different animals, but people do get them mixed up all the time. Now, some of the differences are obvious, some are a bit less obvious. One of the more obvious ones, if they're on land, is how they move. Now, a sea lion, like Callum, has got something called a rotating hip. Now basically that means he can tuck all four flippers underneath his body. Now getting him to stand like this for you doesn't look that impressive, but it has taken him about six months to learn to stand like this for a show. So we're going to give him a cheer! Well done! Cheer! Yeah. Yeah. Try something a bit more impressive there for you. Now when he's on land, he can run faster than any human. Easy peasy. But I'm not going to have a running race with him because I'll lose. What he can show you though is how easy he can move on land. He tucks all four flippers under and he makes it look quite easy. That's quite a steep hill. He's obviously not going that fast. It's still too early in the day for him. Now in the wild, they're going to climb up onto rocks to have a sunbathe. There's only one way to get back in and that is to jump. So on three, if you all give him a cheer, he's going to jump. You ready? One, two, three! are very, very mobile when they're on land. They'll be moving around a lot. Seals are a little different. Their hip joint is fixed. Now, all that means is they can't really hold themselves up. And this is how they move around. Like that. A big fat slug. So definitely a little bit more embarrassing for Callum when he gets compared to one of these. But we'll give him a cheer. Thank you for showing us. I know it was embarrassing. Now, the second difference is one of the ones that's a bit harder to spot. But it means we can all have a good look at Callum's head. Now, either side, he has got sticky out ears. And from the front, I personally think he looks like Shrek. But if you see ears, you're looking at a sea lion. Seals have only got tiny holes either side of their head. But unless you're quite close, that one's hard to see, it is. Now, the last difference is my personal favorite, and it involves the size of their flippers. Now, if you are out there and you've got a hand, stick it up in the air for me, go on. Give it a wiggle, just like that. Wiggle, if you're an adult, high. show your hand to any boys and girls. If you're only here with your friends, your partners, shove your hand in their face, because it's a lovely hand. Your hand is about the size of a seal slipper, which is lovely for you guys. But ultimately very small when you compare it to a massive sea lion slipper. So you've all seen bigger slippers. <laughs> Remember, he grew these himself. They're really impressive. We'll try again. Look how big these slippers are. Wow. Chinsy's gone. <laughs> now when swimming, <laughs> all right. This isn't when he's skinny. He's just chumming up for breeding season. Now when swimming along, he can go 25 miles an hour when he's swimming quite fast. Seals can only go about eight, which means they can propel themselves out of the water pretty high as well. We'll go once more for luck. Very well done. I have no idea if you hit it, but it looks like you did from my angle. I'll give you a cheer. You did good. Well done, you. Nicely done. <laughs> In the wild, both seals and sea lions face quite similar problems. Now, one of those is predators. So an animal that if it found Callum, sadly, it might eat him. So see if you have any idea what it could be. So sharks and killer whales, they quite like a good sea lion as a snack. Now, thankfully, there are none in our pool, and Callum does like to mock them a little bit. Now, if he was going to try and get away from a shark, he's going to have to swim very, very fast. And something you might do is called porpoising. So you'll jump in and out of the water over and over again in order to confuse the shark. It'll help him take a breath. But also, the safest place for a seal or a sea lion when they're being chased is on land. And you didn't get eaten? Well done you. The shark did not get you today. Now the other problem a sea lion faces is humans. Now although we don't mean to, our litter does quite often end up in the oceans. Now unfortunately for a sea lion, they don't have any hands so they can't pick it up. 
What they do is they chew on it, they could swallow it, or it could become trapped around their neck, making them really, really ill. Now thankfully for Callum, this is just one of his toys, and when he emerges from the pool, he has a nice new necklace, and I'm always here to take any nasty pieces of litter off. But seals and sea lions out in the wild aren't so lucky. So do you think they guys with hands could do it? Yeah, maybe, maybe. It was a questionable nod from him. Now you've managed to see a little bit of what Callum can do. People often wonder though how we've trained all of this. He does not, am I boring you? Yeah. He does not speak any English, so the way we train him is through something called positive reinforcement. Basically means every time he does good, he is given a treat. Now treats can be fish. You do not get to 35 stone unless you eat a lot of fish. But he also likes things like a tickle behind the ear, he really likes a game of football, and he really likes a round of applause. People think of us being vain, it's just the sea lion. He thinks awful highly of himself. Now when he was little, he was introduced to this funny looking stick. Now all we did at first is hold it out in front of him. Now he's not going to grab onto it, he doesn't have any hands. What he uses are those whiskers that are on his face. And the very first time those whiskers and his nose touch the stick, we tell him he's the best animal in the whole wide world, and we give him treats. Now he's very, very smart. He soon figures out that if he follows the funny looking stick around, he's going to get lots of rewards for doing it, which means if you use your imagination, he can train all kinds of things just by getting him to touch his nose on a target That's stick. Amazing. Now the thing is, you will have noticed, he has not just been following that around. That is how we introduce behaviours to him, but he'd be very, very bored if that was all he was doing. So eventually the targets are taken away, and everything he knows is on something called a cue. He's opening his mouth because he knows what's coming next. <laughs> do you know the show better than I do? Yeah, yeah, trouble. So cues are sometimes painfully obvious. If I stand here and I'm doing this, you all know it's happening. And the sea lion's obviously doing something to copy. Some of them are a bit, a bit more subtle, not for you guys, but more for him so that he has to pay attention. Ones that we use a lot, things like nodding. Uh, I just point my finger like that. Sure, and he should keep nodding until I tell him he's done good and we give him a treat. And people often wonder, how we train everything like that. Now, not everything can be trained this way. The one thing Callum's wanting to do is he wants to sing for you. Now, sadly, he doesn't have an on-off button. We've tried, we've poked everywhere. No, there is no on-off button for getting him to make noise. So we basically waited until he made noise on his own and gave him treats for doing it. Now, I swear I've got a hard job, but I kind of just sat where you were and just waited. It's tough. It is. Right, so... Once he did that, we captured the behaviour and stood around making funny hand gestures. And now every time we make those funny hand gestures... He sings a little song! You can give him a cheer, it was lovely. Well done. Good job!